resubs while I was away. Thank you. Sorry that your resubscriptions fell on a, uh, a Saturday, apparently. Yargle Blargle, thank you as well. Hello, what, what's your problem? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your wow. From British eyes only. RWS202, thank you as well. Sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. And Overlord like King, too. <laughs> what the, dude, I'm getting shot. What'd you give me? You didn't give me anything because we... Nope, sorry. What are you talking about? No, nothing. Sorry. sorry. Nothing. Somebody help. Just die. You know what? I'll see you in heck, man. Thank you. Oh God, D steak as well. NL, would you rather eat five McDoubles or one McDodeca? This is a great question because it it really hits to a lot of kind of nuance in in uh, like gluttony. Like, just think about this. One McDodeca at first seems better because there's like 20% as many buns, right? However, I don't know, like from a, well, Vortka first, thank you for the subscription, but uh, for a, um, like a morale standpoint, I have to imagine five McDoubles, you could spread that out over like a couple hours and feel okay about it, whereas if you eat one 10 patty burger. That's ridiculous. Like that from a morale standpoint is hard. Steino Rhino, thank you as well. Nuanced Gluttony is my favorite deadly sin. It's also a great name for a, a Twitch uh, channel. You hear this? It's kind of word of power or something going on over here. Um, hey, Regian WH, thank you as well. I'm enjoying Skyrim so much, and I hope you are too. It's, I mean, I'm like, I'm having a good time with it. It lacks a little bit of the kind of flavor of Fallout New Vegas that I liked, but I, I do appreciate the sandbox nature and the absurdity that it allows uh, much more so than Fallout 4. What's your favorite Eagles song? That's a great question. Oh my god, Hail Sithis? Of course, what I meant to say was, uh, Hail Consuvio. My favorite Eagles song? Give me, give me some Eagles songs, because there's, um, Hotel California is not my favorite Eagles song. I kind of hate it. Um, no offense meant, of course. I know wow. people feel very strongly about that song. Wow. Uh, but then, okay, first God Tier Wizard and B2 Thanks. Thank you as well. Um, yes, excuse me. No, I, Statue to Meridia? I'm trying to find another place here. There's Take It Easy, Witchy Woman. You know what? Maybe it's Desperado. I don't even like Desperado that much, but it could be Desperado. Who's your favorite Eagles player? Is Donovan McNabb wow. still on the Eagles? <laughs> Samurai Bison, thank you as well. Where the heck is the new... Oh, there we go. Retrieve the payment. From Volenrood. Serial Freak. Samurai Bison, thank you. Jim West Desperado? Dude, that would be a great mashup if you could actually make it work. Wicked Wild Wild West, Jim West Desperado. It's a biracial crime fighting team from Wyoming. I don't know, it doesn't really work. I don't know if you could describe the Wild Wild West crime fighting team as being biracial. They're like multiracial. Um, retrieve the payment. Just chilling here. It's 20,000 gold. Alright. That was easy enough. Suki Akurai, Weeble123, and Soviet Saints. Thank you as well. 35 months is indeed ridiculous. That's like several... Hundred times older than Dan Giesling's child. How does that make you feel? Excuse me? What kind of song would be composed if Kanye and the Bare Naked Ladies got together? Dude, don't even talk to me about the Bare Naked Ladies, because, um... A few years ago, they had a falling out with one of the, uh... Oh, you can't fast travel when enemies are nearby, of course. They had a falling out with Steven Page, one of the founding members of the band. And I understand, you know, personal differences, etc., etc. But, um, 
you know, the band has lost a little bit of its soul since then. I mean, I'm not anti Ed Robertson or anything like that, but like, come on. How do I get out of here? Did Dan name his kid Memphis? No, he didn't. He named his kid Desmond. Stepped on a freaking trap! Excuse me. Skeleton, don't even start with me. You're just a freaking bag of bones. Don't even have any tendons. Game Chow, thank you for the resub as well. I am Dan's son. That doesn't make sense. But I do appreciate it, Consuvio. It's a great name. I hope you enjoy it. I hope we can we can keep that meme going for a little while. I will name my kid Northern Line. Please don't do that. It's a selfish decision. When you have children, you have to make decisions for them, not for you. What's the problem? Okay, I see what the issue is now. It's a dragon? Hey, Wizard Island Amigo Bean. Thank you, too. I, I, this is a dragon. There is a dragon. I don't know if I want to head to the inn. It's made of tinder and wicker. If Dan's son is one day old, what's his favorite band? Probably the Eagles, if I'm being honest. I'm not going to fight the dragon yet. We fought the Giants last time. It took us 12 hours. And then I forgot to save the game. SGDQ is going on right now? Yeah, actually, uh... I am... I am aware. I haven't been watching it myself. I've never really watched it... Musk of Dipper. I don't, uh, I don't intentionally miss your reset. My apologies. I've never really watched SGDQ, but it's an awesome event for an awesome cause. So, uh, I would encourage you. You can head over to Josh's chat and watch it if that's the kind of thing that interests you, is watching that with, like, a chat that is possible to follow. Titus Mede the second is dead by my hand. Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events not Spicy merchant, thank you as well. Day for us, my friend. Despite your misfortunes, you stayed true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. Oh, I mean, just like a temporary thanks would be fine. Eternal is like a little bit ridiculous. You don't know if maybe I'm going to hit you with the right hook and give you a little German suplex here. Um, he paid me 5,000 gold. Oh, is that all? Really? Come now. You're joking with old Nazir. Surely the Milk Bell, thank you too. That. AKA Mike Bithel. Sorry, no joke, five thousand gold. You think an emperor would fetch at least twice that? Damn that motherless cheapskate multi air. In any event, here's my advice. Go to Ripton's Ratway. Find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before, no? Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, eh? This is a wow NL rude. Rude. Uh excuse me. Whoa. Emperor Titus Mead the second lies dead. And the dark brotherhood yet lives. Is that Sabercat talking to me? You can't wait while there's enemies nearby. But our work is just beginning. Oh my god! Approach, Approach me, me listener, listener, and hear my words. God dang it. My words. All right. Where is she? She's in here somewhere. Started the Dark Brotherhood forever. Approach the night mother. Night mom! Sneaky and mean! Sarcophagus inside of my dreams. I think I love you. You make me wanna cry, you make me wanna die. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do your dark bidding. 
in Windhelm. Accept wow. this gold. Reckless Riley can do as well. So begins a contract bound in blood. This is an endless quest loop. All right, see you in hell, jokers. Let's metaphorically and literally close the door on this guild. All right, so we're in an endless quest loop now. Let's stop that. What about this one? The break of dawn. The break of wow. dawn? Sule motherfucking black. I don't know what this means, but thank you very much for the subscription. This is sprucing up the base. This one is not endless. Okay. Well, we can at least do this one and then say goodbye to the Dark Brother for a while. We've got word of some settlements that need your help. Chad, I've been working on a Kelsey Grammer impression, a.k.a. Fraser Crane. I need you to be honest with me. How is my Fraser Crane impression? I'm going to do it now. I'm a little nervous. Daniel LRR, thank you for the subscription. Three months is a long time, man. It's one-third of the human gestation period. Niles! Something like that. Niles. Is that, give me like an out of 10 on that one. If you need to hear it one more time, it'll be like, <clears throat> Niles! Something like that. It's okay, shit. Pardon me, amazing. Not perfect, mm, no. Too forceful. Four out of 10, 3.5, oh damn it. Niles, what about that? Angry Frazier needs work, but what about, what about like calm Frazier? Ooh, he didn't see us. Evil Jim, thank you very much for the subscription. Can you give us more than one word? Daphne! Daphne. Better. Okay, Quiet Fraser Crane is slightly better. If the NLSS crew were all different people named Fraser, who would be who? Oh man, that's a tough one. I mean, I would be Frazier from uh, Video Games Awesome because we're both from Canada and also bald. And then... Uh, I mean, I could also be Frazier Crane. I think out of anybody in the NLSS, I probably fit the Frazier Crane mold the most, which is not being very flattering to myself necessarily. Um, graded Wheat, thank you for the subscription. The resub. And then, if we got, uh... What do you mean Nick is Fraser Crane? Look, let's all be real here. Nick is Niles. If we had to be members of the Fraser cast, Nick would be Niles for sure. Everybody's favorite role from David Hyde Pierce. Okay, where's our quest here? Just wanted to get out of dragon aggro range. Rob is Brendan Fraser? Dude, that is actually... 100% correct. Well, let's at least like point ourselves in the direction of it here. I'm I'm losing my mind. Go to Winterhold? I I am going to be honest with you. I don't know where anything is. You tell me Winterhold, I'm like that's the same thing in my brain as not knowing where it is. If the NLSS crew were different characters played by Kelsey Grammer, who would be who? I mean, how many different characters can you name played by Kelsey Grammer? There's like... Fraser Crane. Fraser Crane from Cheers. You have committed crimes the Beast from X-Men. Like, that, that's it. That's all I got. I'm not paying you gold. Um, my brother puts Milo in his coffee. How fucked up is that? I tried that. It's just like less bitter coffee. You know, I've seen it at the grocery store, but I don't know what it is. It's like instant chocolate milk powder or something. Sneakiest man of all time. I think that's, uh, it's more of a European thing than a, than a North American thing. Who are the NLSS crew out of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Josh is definitely uh, Ant-Man. That's like 100%. Hmm. 
Okay, Josh as Ant-Man is so simple. I don't... Here's the problem. I No matter what character I make myself, it ends up being, like, flattering. Right? Dan is Loki? That, wow. that seems fair. Like, I don't want to say that I'm Iron Man. I was thinking Nick was Bruce Banner as well. Funky Mushrooms, thank you for the subscription. Come back later. I may have some work for you. Or maybe I could, like, come back now. I'm feeling quite ornery since we lost to Iceland in the Euro. Could give you all the information you need. Oh, um, can you repair and refit the Dawnstar Sanctuary? The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Is that where you lot are holding up? Uh, tell you what, it will cost you a lot. But I could help you out. I would have put you as Iron Man as well. You're too flattering. Thank you. Um, you know what? Give me the whole thing. Give, give me the whole thing. Banners, huh? Try to pretty the place up. All right, you got it. What? Where are you going? Come back later. Tell me what you need. Wait, it is really like all I'm doing here is getting... I'm spending gold on nothing? Like, it, be real with me, chat. Spoil it, pull back the veil. Do I get anything for doing this, or does it just look nice? Because if it looks nice, I, I just don't care. You're never going to go back there. All right, you know what? You took my thousand gold. Fool me once, shame on uh, you. Fool me twice, shame on me. It just looks nice. All right, I'm getting the hell out of here then. You're spending your gold on sprucing up the base? I'm not interested. Michael. Still looks like shit even after you do it all. Okay, fair enough. All right. Um, all right, well, I guess we should do, like, some, you know, like, main quest or some stupid stuff. Bring Meridia's Beacon. All right, well, let's bring Meridia's Beacon. They do get pretty sweet banners. Well, you know, that's okay. In a survival situation, which member of the NLSS would be the first to turn to cannibalism? Probably me, to be honest with you. Lupitar the Puppet Master, thank you as well, and thank you for the tip about, uh, in heavy armor there's a perk that makes unarmed deal more damage. Um, like, why do I think I'd be the first to convert to cannibalism? I think that I, I tend to fancy myself as, like, a realist, and if we were, like, really in a survival situation, I would be like, well, we might as well just, like, eat somebody, especially if they're already dead, because otherwise we're not gonna get out of here. Which one has the most interest in eating human flesh? I agree with you, chat. It's Rob. There's 100%. In a survival situation, Mathis would be the first to get eaten? It's possible. He would also be, like, 100% in... For the, for the cannibalism, though, I feel. Okay, so Meridia's Beacon was, like, up here somewhere. Right there. So we're going to fast travel to Solitude once we get out of aggro. I think NL would be eaten first. They'd have to fucking, you know, take my life through my cold, dead hands, I'll tell you that much. I would I would fight till the last with gnashing teeth and clawing nails. But to be honest with you, I, I wouldn't want to be in a survival situation with the NLSS crew. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't think we have the... Um, I don't think we have the... The internal strength and fortitude? What is this fucking thing right here? Quick save is my werewolf buddy. I don't think we have the, the internal strength and fortitude in order to survive um, this situation. It's a troll. Hello. Yeah, he almost got me. Just kidding. He's dead? I can't believe he died so quickly. Which member of the NLSS do you think can endurance run the farthest? Dan, followed by... Josh, followed by me, or Dan, followed by me, followed by Josh? 100%. Dan is a... He runs currently, and he runs consistently. I have a history... 
of of right. running semi long distances. Um, I'd rather die than go to prison, by the way. But Josh, for whatever reason, despite all the punishment that he puts his body through, um, you know, maintains a, a certain level of fitness that that baffles my mind, and I wouldn't want to. Uh, I wouldn't want to dispute that. Like I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to bet against that. I guess. NL, please just pay your fines. No. What about your meniscus? It, it's got to be healed by now. Sushi Cat the backslash Sands. Thanks for the resubscription. I've been using that toddy cold brew kit. Well, I haven't been using it every day because like, the whole you know point of it is you make a large batch and then you don't have to use it every single day. But I've been drinking cold brew every day that I've been home since you... Uh, since you sent us that cold brew kit, and it has changed my life for the better. Thank you very much. If you're not going to pay your fine, just wow. murder the guards. That's ridiculous. What is... Okay. How you doing, Mon? Thank you very much for the subscription. NL is the number one cold brew endorser. Let me count the ways in which cold brew coffee is superior to hot coffee. Uh, one is the summer, and I want cold drinks more often than hot drinks. Number two, I can have coffee as soon as I wake up. I don't have to wait for it to brew and then cool. Number three, I can make a large batch, and then really it's as simple as just pouring a little cold brew concentrate into the cup and then pouring some cold water on top. And that's my coffee every single morning. I don't have to grind beans or put the coffee in the coffee maker, wait for it to brew, etc., etc. So I am um, extremely pleased with the cold brew. You don't know whether your meniscus is healed? Well, I mean, like, it doesn't hurt anymore. But, I like, to be honest with you, I we have a great family doctor. But my doctor, she's like, you know, you should really, like, be more active. Like, you know, you sit down all day, you do a job where you mostly just, like, bullshit. 27-year-old body is not supposed to do that. It's supposed to be out, like, hunting saber-toothed tigers on the African savanna. Excuse me? Um, oh, God. And I was like, well, you know, I used to run, like, a lot. And she's like, yeah, well, what happened? I was like, well, I fucking tore my meniscus. It hurts real bad. She's like, yeah, well, you probably just, like, are a little lazy, right? I'm like, damn, girl. That's that's ice cold. Hail Drake, thank you for the subscription here. I This is not the way you're supposed to get up here. What is a meniscus? Some stupid, fragile part of your knee that shatters at the slightest touch, apparently. Restore to me my beacon, that I might guide All right. you There you go. Yes. Problems. Okay. I've just been sacrificed in uh, Dead by Daylight. It is time for my splendor to return to Skyrim. Yeah? You want me to kill a Frostvale spider? <laughs> He's a good cat. Likes to do suplex in Skyrim. Fixing his shrines. It's Meridian. She's a beacon of bullshit. She took me high. And left me to die. And now I'm free. <laughs> free falling. Doggy boo. Thank you very much for the subscription. Sure, whatever. I'll do it. Alright, well, let's not be crazy here. The artifact must be reclaimed. And Malkarin destroyed. Sinvicta? I thought his name was Tomo Frog. Don't even start with me, please. Thank you very much, though. It's my temple. And it responds to my decree. 
I will send down a ray of light. Whoa, oh, <laughs> jeez. You know, we already have the sun. Try not to seem so omnipotent. Here we go. All right. Guide Meridia's light through the temple. I guess I can do that. Wouldn't it be great if Meridia asked you to pay for your crimes up here? That would be good.